Hello everyone, myself Ryan Howe. In today's session, we are seeing the DAX struggling close to the 14,000 level and it increasingly looks like that uh, this resistance is likely to push the DAX lower and uh, it will be interesting to see if our anticipation can uh, help us figure out some uh, key technical levels to look for some trading opportunities in the day. So let's get started for today's market movers. If you look at the data docket, Earlier in the day, we had uh, Ms. Christine Lagarde, the ECB's president, speaking on policy matters. And in it, she has reiterated the ECB's stance that ECB is expecting the economic rebound starting uh, from the second quarter of this year onwards. And uh, unless uh, there is extension of the lockdown measures, she is not... Uh, expecting the economy to stay sluggish moving forward and the second half of this year might show strong recovery and uh, it will be a key development to watch out for on the data front we got these uh, industrial production numbers for the euro area and uh, these numbers are better than the expectations where we saw the industrial production rising 2.5% in terms of month on month for the month of November. Though there is a still decline in terms of year on year, but it is a lot less than the anticipated reading. So, on the economic data, we have some good numbers along with uh, Mr. Uh, sorry, Ms. Christiane Lagarde's uh, expectations the, of strong economic rebound second quarter onwards. For the US session, we are scheduled to get the CPI numbers, the inflation data for the month of December. And here, the expectation is that uh, CPI is likely to show some uptick with the growth of around 1.3% in terms of year on year. And in terms of month on month, the growth of CPI might be around 0.4%. So, these uh, both the readings are likely to be better than the prior month's reading. And, uh, this is uh, showing that uh, to some extent at least on the price front, the COVID uh, impact is uh, kind of receding and uh, moving forward we can expect better numbers as uh, vaccine rollout speeds up and uh, the COVID pandemic is uh, brought in control of course gradually. We are also scheduled to get the WTI crude oil inventory data and uh, here. The expectation is of around a decline of 2.2 million barrels, which will be on top of uh, almost 8 million barrels of decline, which we saw in the last uh, week. And uh, if this uh, holds well, I think uh, the recent uh, upward momentum which we are experiencing in the light food is uh, going to be sustained and uh, maybe in a couple of weeks' time, even the price level of US dollar 60 per barrel can be reached if the momentum sustains. Now moving on to the technical territory, we will first see the technical outlook for DAX and then we will also see what's happening in the USD JPY. Let's start with the DAX technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart and here the DAX has uh, shown the remarkable recovery after uh, this uh, trough and uh, we are not uh, really seeing any change in uh, long term trend at least uh, as of now we are pretty much in the bullish territory and uh, we are not really far away from the all time high reached uh, just couple of days back but uh, after this uh, rally I think uh, some sort of correction is uh, pretty much due and Today onwards might be the time to look for some shorting opportunities to uh, get a profit in the DAX. So if we look at the technical formation on the lower time frame chart, here we have the first resistance of this month pivot point series and this is the price area where the DAX has really struggled. And last couple of sessions it has uh, been hovering just below the 14,000 level and even in today's session it first tried to hold on to the 13,900 and uh, rise above it but it is uh, faltering and it looks like that uh, we might see it uh, dipping below the 13,900 level and in due course of time even below or uh, even towards uh, 13,800. 
So we will see how we can uh, optimize our entry and exit while keeping in mind the key level of 14,000. If you look at the broader picture, the regression curve still is inclined on the upper side. It is still in the bullish trajectory and uh, also the pivot point series is uh, also showing that uh, the price action is still happening in the bullish territory. So we will be cautious here. We are looking for some correction, not uh, any trend reversal as of now. And uh, accordingly, we will have to keep our uh, stop losses and the target price chart to make sure that we are not really taking up due risk. So if uh, we are going to look for the shorting opportunities in today's session, I think uh, this uh, 50 SMA zone is going to be key. The 50 SMA is closer to 13,950 price level and uh, if we don't really see any key break above it and uh, if the price doesn't really sustain after crossing above it i think uh, we can look for a shorting opportunity anywhere in the price band above or uh, just in the vicinity of 13,900 and uh, the stop loss can be kept closer to this uh, 100 sma zone the stop loss of around uh, 14,000 should be good enough while we are looking for the break below these uh, 200 SMA and uh, that is going to provide us the risk reward ratio of uh, not uh, exactly 1 is to 2 but still looking from the scalping perspective it should be good enough and to make sure that uh, almost uh, 80 to 90 points of risk which we will have to take should be covered well and uh, we will have target at least 150 points on the lower side so we will be expecting the break below these uh, prior uh, swing low which is there around 13,800 with this time around the price target of 13,750 can be expected to be reached if we do see the break below these uh, e SMA support on the lower side now moving on to the USD GPS technical formation here, the USD JPY struggled after getting close to the distance of this uh, trend line and it sharply decelerated on the lower side. But in today's session, it has uh, found some support closer to the 103.5 price zone and it is uh, consolidating closer to that. And uh, moving forward, also, I think we will have to watch out for the price action in uh, today's session and then onwards we can indeed form the opinion on it to go for any opportunity to trade so here the key uh, price point to watch out for is going to be this uh, central pivot point of this month's pivot point series we had the break earlier and then after getting close to the first resistance the USD JPY struggled and uh, it uh, declined and uh, it came to this uh, central pivot point and now it is uh, looking like that uh, some buying momentum some buying support is indeed there but we need uh, more time and uh, for that we will have to allow the USD GPY to consolidate uh, closer to this price area first and then in due course of time I think uh, we can look for fresh buying opportunities as of now, both this technical formation, the resistance uh, formation, uh, this pivot point series, sorry, the pivot point series formation and this uh, regression curve formation, both are pointing to the continuation of the upward trajectory and uh, to make sure that we are uh, trying to get involved only when uh, Price uh, is in our favor, the risk reward is in our favor. We will have to allow more time, and uh, to that extent, we can uh, rely on this 200 SMA zone. So, here we should not really get involved if the price uh, breaks below these are uh, 200 SMA, and if we see a uh, couple of sessions of uh, not a couple of, uh, at least uh, uh, we can uh, wait it out till uh, US session, and if in the US session the price uh, really holds well above these uh, 200 SMA, then I think uh, we can indeed get involved for the fresh long positions anywhere in the price band of 103.6 to 103.8, and uh, then on the higher side we can expect the USD JPY to climb past this uh, immediate uh, swing high, and uh, on the higher side 
we can even expect the price targets of around 104.5 or even beyond that to be reached in due course of time while keeping a stop loss anywhere closer to the 103.2 to 103.3 area. So that's it from my side for the today's session. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, you can write to me in the comment section and I will be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Before I sign off, I would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading the financial instrument and one should be careful while using the information provided. Have a fabulous day ahead. Do subscribe to the Dukaskopi webinar channel to stay updated on the market developments. Goodbye.